Hey everybody, welcome in to Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen and I'm excited to do your reading today. Today's pick a card love reading is going to focus on messages about your next date. Who will you date next? I've chosen four charms that I was drawn to. The first charm is the sword. The second charm is the ship. The third charm is the open heart. And the fourth charm is the dice. And I'm going to pull cards for you right now for each of these piles. And I wanted you to take a moment, see which energy you're drawn to. It could be one of the charms. It could be the cards. It could be the timestamp below. With pick a card readings, they are general. So take what works and leave the rest behind. Not all messages will be meant for you, okay? So you can listen to all four. You can listen to this entire reading and pick and choose what you'd like, or you can you know, listen to only the pile that you're drawn to. So let's get started. I'm going to pull some cards about who are you going to date next. Let's get some information. And we're going to start with number one. I'm just going to pull one card for each. Number two. Number three. And number four. Okay. Now let's get the charms on top so you can really feel the energy get a good energetic read on this for you listen to your intuition as always and don't stress if you can't decide as I said listen to a couple if you're feeling drawn to several the timestamps will be below if you want to skip ahead. And don't forget to please like this video when you finish or like it right now. Subscribe to my channel. It's free. Once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I do a new reading. So let's get started today. Who are you going to date next? One, two, three, four. Hey, number one, here's your reading. You picked the sword charm. And you are starting with the Page of Wands. Beautiful. Um, this is someone who is really optimistic, someone who is positive. This could be someone you meet traveling. They could just love to travel or you could love to travel. You could have that in common. This person could be a fire sign, a Leo, Sag, or Aries. They don't necessarily have to be, but they could be. That could also be, um, you could have fire element in your chart as well. Um, but this is someone who's going to bring a lot of excitement to your life. This is also um, a connection to maybe like some sort of creative you know, ability or creative thing that you love. This can also be like an artistic or creative, like first meeting, like you meet at, you know, a concert, an art show, you know, something connected to wand energy because wand energy is all about fire. It's about inspiration. It's about creativity. So this feels like an exciting first date. It definitely feels like a date that is going to go really well and be like something that's going to make you want to see this person again. Um, it's interesting. Let's see how the sword comes into play. We're going to start with getting some more information for you. I'm going to do a tarot reading and then pull oracle messages as well. For number one, let's see about who you're going to date next. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Oh, so we have the hermit down here. Interesting. That's Virgo energy. Someone really wise, someone who's taken time to get to know themselves some deep do some deep work um you know what i'm looking at here with the hermit which i've never really looked at this card that way but it's like the hermit is holding a wand just like the pages the thing about the hermit card is it can be virgo energy it can represent someone who has a virgo but um the little star is inside that person's lantern, meaning that you have the answers within. This is someone who's, you know, really taken some time to reflect and to be kind of to themselves for a while. 
and the star represents Aquarius energy, which is air sign. So connected to that sword. But let's see how this plays out. Your next date, number one. Okay, that was upright and it's the justice card. Yay, look what she's holding. She's holding the sword. There it is. We have the beautiful owl here for those of you that connect with, um, with birds, with birds of prey, with the owl. This is wisdom. This is justice. This is Libra energy coming in too to your reading. Wow. Interesting. We have Virgo energy, we have Libra energy, we've got legal, justice, the law. Oops, let's see what our final card is that jumped away. Oh, you've got all major arcana, the beautiful empress. Now the empress is connected to both the the zodiac sign Taurus, as well as Libra. So we kind of have a double Libra message here too. Um, wow, that's really exciting. Your next date could be with someone that feels like a very big cycle is starting for you. Okay, number one, this doesn't feel like a casual date because we have these three big cards, three major arcana. Let me pull them closer for you so you can get a look at them together. If you are a Libra and you're listening to this or have Libra rising, Libra moon, um, this feels like uh, justice being served, like something that you really, you know, wished for, or some karma, something that is a real, you know, a, something you've wished for, something that is balanced and fair, something that, like, you deserve, and it's like, you're finally getting it, you're finally getting what you want, so if there's someone that you've been wanting to hear from, um, who you have a great physical connection with or a lot of chemistry or have felt this feeling for and this person has been out of reach or out of touch or um, spending time you know to themselves not dating or off doing other things and un otherwise unavailable could be a Virgo um, that 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 connection is going to come forward but this date is more than just you know of uh, just a brief fun light-hearted event this can lead to something very long term this feels like a big big relationship for you not just a date The thing about the justice card is that really talks about um, something being determined because of the actions that you've made. And it's like um, things that you've done in the past are happening because, you know, are, things that are happening in the present are a result of what you've done in the past, right? Um, so you can change your future because you make different choices now. Um, but I feel like this date, it's like so much more than just an average date. This feels really big. Let me pull some more cards. Um, but this is going within, this is, you know, introspection this is reflection this is decisions being made this is you know karmic connections this is a result of all of this learning and knowledge this is being valued this is growth and creativity this is creativity um so because of the sword that justice card is really important here um lots of Libra connections for those of you that are Libras or maybe connecting with the Libra that could be the date could be with someone who's a Libra but let's get more I want to find out what the hermit message is about for you what is the hermit message about wow look at that the page of swords <laughs> 
So there's that sword again. So we have two pages. We have the page of wands, the page of swords. I feel like with the page of swords, um, this is like someone that loves to talk. This is somebody that wants to communicate, that has lots of new ideas. They want to get going, but they're really not that mature. Um, underneath the energy of the Virgo hermit, the wise one, um, I feel like this is somebody that you're going to have a lot of fun talking with. This is someone who you're going to love communicating with, that they are like they challenge you in some way. It's like, you know, when you have like good sparring back and forth, like, um, you know, you just joke around. There's just like good fun between you. Um, and I think that that's going to be like the date is going to be like really interesting. And I think that this person's going to surprise you in some way, like you may have thought one thing when you first meet them, your first impression, but they actually have like a lot of, um, you know, like a lot of energy, a lot of like, um, you know, when you just like flirt a lot, you know, you joke around a lot. That's what it feels like. Okay, let's see what we get for the justice message. But yeah, communication's big here um, because we have the sword as your first, you know, the charm was the sword and then we got the page and the justice. So there's good communication. There's air sign activity here. Could be Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. We have a lot of Libra coming through specifically. Let's see what the message about justice is for this date. Wow, there you go. Seven of Swords, more sword energy underneath justice. Wow. With this upright, it's really about someone who's sneaky or lies or some sort of betrayal. Um, but when it's reversed, it's about taking responsibility. It's about honesty and acceptance. This justice card is really interesting because justice is about, you know, action based on, you know, consequences based on your actions. Um, and so I feel like there could be like, it could be that this person is someone from your past that you may have misjudged. And so this next date is with this person, but you're feeling differently about them, right? Um, this could also be someone new and um, you are really stepping forward in terms of speaking your truth and being really honest on this date and um, telling, you know, talking about your past, talking about your experience um you know with any sort of betrayal it seems like that comes up in some way in this connection let's pull one about the empress what is the message of the empress about this date okay the three of cups reversed Yeah, I almost feel like this could be a date with someone that um, maybe your friends didn't like originally or that you kind of said no to in the past or never even considered because of other people's talk and chatter about this person. But now the truth is coming out and you're giving this person a chance. And that's like this new this new opportunity between the two of you. I think that's possible for some of you. For some of you that haven't met this person yet, and this is a completely new connection, I do think that um, there's something about this person that um, your friends don't really, really love, and they, they definitely let you know, but you don't care. <laughs> okay, let's get some more about this person. Who is this person that you're going on this date with? Let's start with mystery, faith. <laughs> you got to have mystery and faith together and happiness. Ooh. Wow. 
I'm going to pull you a card about mystery. Wow. The Ace of Wands. And we started with the page. Okay. Um, so we're getting more about this person being someone who's really creative, someone who's inspiring, somebody who you have a lot of physical chemistry with right away. I also feel that you two are by yourselves when you meet, okay, or when you have your date. Um, but they are coming through with that Leo Sag Aries, um, that, that fire or passion. They don't have to be a fire sign, but they could be creative. They could just really, really make you excited, right? You're very, very attracted to them. Um, the mystery part of it for me feels like this is a connection that you keep to yourself. Let's see what we get for the faith. Or like you go on the date, but you don't tell anyone, okay? And that could be that Three of Cups reverse, too. Ooh, mystery, faith, and the High Priestess. I have chills. You have a really powerful reading here. You have two divine feminine goddesses with the Empress and the High Priestess. Um, wow, this is something really more than just a casual date that is definitely coming through. I feel like for some of you, you have been really connecting with this energy and this reading is not coming as a surprise to you. I feel like you are real intuitives. You are very sensitive. You have a really strong feeling about this happening. Um, maybe you've dreamt about it. Maybe you've been wanting to manifest this. You've been working on this. And you know that this is your divine path. Um, this is powerful energy. Between the faith and mystery to have the high priestess, it's like a soul connection, a soul contract, um, something at a deep level. This is definitely not a surface connection. This is a connection with someone that is spiritual as well as physical, okay? There's something that you've been maybe even for some of you, this isn't for everyone, but this message came through that some of you have been waiting a long time for this person to emerge. You've been waiting. You felt like they were going to connect with you or you felt like this energy was coming and you are like sitting in wait, you're having faith, you believe in the mystery of the universe, um, that you knew that this person is coming, that there's just some, there's just some, there's some reflection that needs to happen. Okay. Wow. And obviously we have happiness. This person brings you a lot of happiness. This is a very intense first date. <laughs> okay. Wow. We are kicking off this this reading in a big way. Okay, so you have the Four of Pentacles reversed. Um, the happiness with the Four of Pentacles is showing me that um, you don't feel the need to be possessive. You feel very confident in this person. You feel that they, I, I just split the deck. I got the, one of my favorites. Thank you. Thank you. I got the King of Cups. He is so, I love this King of Cups. Um, this is someone who is very romantic, someone who is nurturing and caring, but someone who's mature. Okay. Um, but you feel confident. You don't feel like you're afraid, um, that they are going to, um, you know, like you have to be overly possessive. You trust this person. Okay. Um, also I feel like they're going to pay. <laughs> it's kind of a basic, but I think they're going to pay on the first date wherever you go. Yeah. <laughs> And I just opened the deck and I got the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, I think at a basic level, they're going to pay. Okay. Um, but let's see what else we get about the state. Wow, wow, wow. I am very excited by this. i um, going to pull you a French fortune about the first date. What do you need to know, number one? Ooh, we have Cross. We have bouquet. 
and stars beautiful stars is pure happiness you have the happiness card and stars you have the bouquet the romance a gift this person could bring you something there's some sort of sacrifice leading up to this date okay also this person could just be very religious very spiritual you could share spiritual connection because we have the high priestess and the cross um, but this can also signify this time of um reflection or this separation before you two being together okay Get some initials and letters about this connection for you number one your next date we have s k f y q n t D A A O E E U and T. Wow, you've got a lot of letters to work with there. Could be a word, it could be a name, it could be a place, a month, something significant connected to your relationship and to this date. Let's see what we get from the Astro Dice for you today. Let's get information about this date. Okay, we have Sagittarius energy. That's that page of wands and the ace of wands that we here, have here, the fire sign. We have Pisces, like the king of cups. We have Capricorn energy, the north node of destiny and karma. Yes. Um, we have the Cancer energy, which is also that King of Cups. We have the fourth house, which is home, family, um, roots, where you grew up. And obviously, I said the North Node and the karmic connection. So those are all your messages about this date. I am super excited for you. Please write your comments below and let me know what you thought and how you connected with this reading today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. It's free. It really helps me and my channel. Once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. You can always go to my website if you have any questions or would like private readings and information about all that. Love Goddess Tarot. Com. I am sending you so much love. I'll talk to you hey, soon. Number two, here's your reading. You were drawn to the message of the ship charm. And let's see what we have for you about your next date. Okay, so your next date, we have the Knight of Swords coming through. The Knight of Swords is an energy that's fast moving, fast talking. Um, I feel like this person is going to ask you out really quickly after you first make contact, whether it's through a dating app or in person. I think this person's going to move swiftly. They're not going to like, you know, drag it out or, you know, be back and forth, having all these conversations before. I think it's going to be really fast that you actually meet in person. I think the person on the date is going to be very um, honest. They are going to feel like someone who's really protective. Notice that this knight is riding in literally on a white horse. So I feel like they feel have this very sort of protective energy and they feel like they are um masculine and in a tr in charge like um they have a lot of courage they have have also a lot of energy they could be traveling from a distance for the date which is interesting because we did have the um ship as well or they could be from a different um location like than where they're living when you meet in other words they grew up somewhere else or they're from another place um, but let's see what information we can get about this date for you number two I'm going to start with tarot messages what messages do you have today for number two Ooh, we have the empress the empress came through in the first reading beautiful up ah, what's this the six of cups reversed and Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. We have two knights here. 
Wow, interesting. Okay, so with the Empress here, I feel like your date is going to be in a place where you're really comfortable, where you're going to enjoy good food, or you're going to really like the environment. You're going to feel at home wherever you are in terms of this first date. There could even, for some of you, be a connection to your mother or a mother figure introducing you to this person. Um, this is Taurus and um, Libra energy coming through too. So that could be a connection for this date. Um, but it just feels like you're in an environment that's really comfortable, that's really expensive. Um, I feel like this person treats you really well and views you as someone who is, um, you know, should be, should be, taken care of. Um, it feels like you're just enjoying yourself in on the state. I feel like you could even share um, something about your past, some disappointment about your past and really talk about it with this person. It could be connected to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn from your past. A, um, a male energy, someone that you may have dated in the past that um, was like a disappointment. I feel like you share, you share stories, you share like um, emotional stuff on this date. Okay. There could even for some of you be another person there <laughs> who sees you while you're on this date, who could be connected to your past, who could be this Knight of Pentacles person. Um, and I feel like that could be why the um, this person on your date feels the need to kind of be that rescuer, okay? You could see someone from your past. I'm kind of getting that vibe for some of you. Um, but I feel like you do share stories. You, f you really feel comfortable with this person. And on this date, you feel comfortable enough to open up about stuff from your past or your childhood. Um, some sort of disappointment, okay? And it could be connected to this Knight of Pentacles. Or um, for some of you, you're just going to see another person while you're on this date or you're, some other energy is going, another person is going to really be giving you some attention during your date. So this could be messy. This could be fun. Let's see what goes on here. I'm going to pull some, some clarity and confirmation cards here about, let's see what the Empress is all about. Wow. Okay. This is probably too many. So I'm going to put them back and shuffle again because I just was asking for one card about the Empress. Okay. So we have the world. Hmm. Okay, so when the world is reversed, there's some sort of um, lack of closure, okay? So I think that this other night in the reading is representing someone that might still be on your mind. It could be that person we talked about. Um, so I feel like you may go on this date, but you may be thinking about someone else. Okay, let's see what the Six of Cups is about. Yes. Ooh, the two of cups. Okay. So there is someone, it could be a friend. Okay. It could be an ex, someone that disappointed you, but somebody who you believe is your person, is your true love is your perfect match. So that's who you're thinking about on this date. And maybe you're feeling like this person doesn't measure up to someone else that you really care about or someone you dated or someone you think that you want to be with who could be this Knight of Pentacles. But there's definitely two people here to, you know, on this date. So it could be, ooh, Ace of Swords reversed. Yeah, that's confusion. While I was talking, this came out. Um, and we're talking about this. So there's some confusion around the Knight of Swords or some confusion that you have during this date. I do think it's because you're thinking about another person or um, you're maybe comparing this person. Let's see what the Knight of Pentacles. Who's the Knight of Pentacles? Okay. Now we've got the King of Wands coming in.
Leo, Sag, Aries, a fire sign, male energy is coming through who's really warm and open hearted. Um, there's a real positive feeling about this energy. Um, it could be that that is the person that you're thinking of. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. Yeah, you are drawn to there's this fire sign energy, maybe in your future, maybe someone you're thinking of um, that it, it could be getting you confused about this date. Okay, so I definitely feel like this date, you might have a little confusion. You're going to be in a really nice place. Everything's going to seem really good. You're going to open up and talk about the past, but there's confusion for you and it's coming from... Um, it's coming from this fire sign energy, male, Leo, Sag, Aries, someone who you're thinking about or someone who you maybe were engaged to for some of you or someone who um, disappointed you in some way, but you can't seem to focus. Okay, so I do think you're going to have a date with this um, Knight of Swords energy person, but I also see a lot swirling around for you about <laughs> another person. So um, <laughs> this reading is only about this date, so I'm not going to take it any further. Um, but you can always contact me if you want to get a private reading. If this is really resonating and this person is someone you're really confused about, uh, you know, reach out. Okay, so... Let's get more about this date for those of you that are just focused on this date. Okay. How does this Knight of Swords person, this your date, feel about you? Number two, abundance. Yes, with the Empress. They love you. They, they feel like confident. Yes, this person's charging in. Um, they feel like you are someone who has a lot of qualities that they really appreciate. Um, yes, and they see the potential for growth. So they are very confident in the connection. I just feel like it might be you that isn't. And as I said earlier, it's probably connected to um, someone in the past or some just in general feeling like maybe this person is a little different than what you're used to dating or against your type. And so um, it's just going to take you some time. But they are very confident in you and in the connection. Okay, so we have birds, whips, and mice. Ooh, okay, so let me tell you what's going on here. Um, there could be people in your environment that are leading to your confusion, meaning you like this person. There could be the King of Wands or the Knight of Pentacles could be male friend energy that has something to say about this. OK, don't let other people or other situations take away from what you have, which is what the mice warning is and the whips. I feel like it's like um, there's people in your environment that are talking, friends, siblings, people like that. Um, who could be this energy that have something to say about it. That could be um, a big part of your confusion. Um, but your person that you're on the date with feels really great. Um, they have positive energy and they're very positive about you. They really, really hold you in high regard. They have a lot of respect for you, which is a really nice thing to see. So don't, you know, if you're feeling confused, really try to focus on what you want, what makes you comfortable, what you're looking for long term rather than what other people see for you okay interesting this first date's going to cause a lot of uh a lot of talk a lot of people are going to have some things to say about this okay so you have cancer capricorn sag pisces 10th house and north node of karmic destiny so yeah this is a karmic connection you're meant to go on this date you're meant to have this relationship what comes of it is totally up to you it's your choice um these could be signs that are connected to this person or to you we have pisces cancer capricorn and sag sagittarius okay now let's get you some letters initials this could be a name a place a word, something about your date. We have E, D, O, T, O, W, 
it was funny the word veto just came through to me which is like your friends are vetoing it or your family's vetoing it h a o o p a well you it looks like you have almost happy here um and there is a lot of happiness between you and this person so i think the date is going to go well i think it's the after part that there's going to be a lot of discussion there might be some people that have something to say about it um i'm just going to pull you one more because i think this was really f funny and i just want to give you an extra card because i'm feeling drawn to pulling you a moon card number two tell me about this date The inner energy is gaining momentum. And look what's in the picture, birds. I feel like this person wants to move quickly. That could be part of um, what the people around you, the birds, have a problem with. That it's going fast. You know, and they maybe won't have a problem with that. But, um, you know, you listen to yourself, listen to your own inner uh, guidance because you have the Empress here. You're a so strong, solid person. Focus on what is good for you, for your value, things that you want. We do have the Two of Cups energy coming through. This person could be a great partner for you. Um, we do have the Four of Wands, which is long term stability. We just have some confusion. And I feel like like it's caused by this other male energy in the mix here which could be for some of you a past life person I mean a past relationship person for some of you it could be a current situation that you're still not over for some of you it could be a person in your life that is causing blocks okay or pulling away from the energy. You know, sometimes when you have a really good male friend, um, this is just for women dating men, but just, you know, you can change it for whatever um, sex you are. Um, but for women dating men, and when sometimes when they have really good male best friends, they can actually end up blocking the energy. So that might apply, not for everyone, Leave it if it doesn't work, okay? <laughs> and as always, everything is completely up to you. You have free will. So um, this is your reading today about this date. I can't wait to hear your comments. Let me know what you think. I can't wait. Um, write them all below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Click subscribe. It's free. Once you do that, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I post a new reading. Also, if you have any questions, Questions about readings or anything else, go to my website, lovegoddesstarot.com. I'm sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number three, here's your reading. You were drawn to the big heart. Let's take a look at your message about your first, you're not your first, your next date, your first date. Yeah, I guess it could be your first date with this person, obviously. Um, so you have this sun card. The sun card is about joy, it's about fun, it's about innocence, it's about sometimes children, it's about Leo energy, it can be, um, it can be about summertime, um, it's about showing yourself, expressing yourself. I feel like your first date or this date, this next date, um, could be with someone who really makes you open up quickly, you know, someone you feel comfortable with. There could be a Leo connection for you or this person. There could be a connection to the summertime, to the outdoors, to the warm weather for this date. There could be a connection to um, this happening during the day as opposed to like an evening date. It could be like meeting for coffee or breakfast or lunch. Um, but let's see what comes through for you about your next date number three what messages can we get for you today Ooh. okay we have the knight of wands okay so we've got some fire energy leo sag aries leo here this could be a leo this can be someone who is really has like a huge personality somebody that is very vocal about their attraction for you someone who moves really quickly sweeps you off your feet kind of energy 
we have the nine of cups reversed and the artist reversed okay this is interesting so i feel like generally speaking um you are someone who is kind of conservative somebody who doesn't really um open up like i said i feel like you you open up to this person much faster than you normally do like they really pull you out they really are so like they have so much personality they have so much enthusiasm and they're so fiery that you know you open up much more than you normally do i feel like you've been disappointed in the past maybe in connections and relationships and you have a shyness to you i feel like you could be an artist or someone that has a talent that you normally don't talk about but you talk about with this person or you just open up you just show them a side of yourself that you generally keep hidden that's what's coming through and the date feels like um it feels like it's it's you thought it was going to be one thing you kind of ex anticipated it to be like other dates but it's different okay but let me let's get some more about the knight of wands for you oh, wow okay it's you this person really surprises you um you go from disappointment and not believing that maybe or delay with your like wishes coming true to this person possibly being the one this can be a really beautiful connection for you there could be there's children again so for some of you this could lead to you guys um having children this is a family situation this is emotional contentment and security i feel like this person um is going to talk about their family they're going to talk about um what they want in life really early in the conversation and it, it might throw you off but it's really what you want um you may even have children already for some of you this isn't going to apply to everyone and you feel like this person could be a good um you know parent to your child wow this is big i see this date going very well and it definitely has potential to lead to more than just a date so you'll definitely have another date after that okay five of swords yeah so you have a fear i feel like there's some sort of fear of um of being taken advantage of being lied to of of someone taking advantage it's just taking advantage is the word that keeps coming through um maybe some of you have been in past connections that um the person either took advantage of you like financially or was um you know you've been with people that weren't really stable or really into long-term commitments you could be heartbroken from a past connection that could be why you're holding back i feel like this date though this person really wants to go for it is really really interested in you and it's um it could be that you are a little down you're a little like your energy is a little down because um of something that happened in the past and so you're not letting you know you're not you might not be ready for what this person has to offer okay but let that's totally up to you that's not for everyone wow so we have the hierophant um this definitely feels like a traditional person and traditional connection um i feel like you maybe even um feel like you need to talk to someone that you trust somebody that's really wise somebody that's going to give you advice about relationships maybe you've even been to someone a counselor let's see what that hierophant is about the nine of pentacles yeah this is taurus energy taurus virgo capricorn this is financial this is financial um this is about taking care of yourself i feel like there could be 
okay, <laughs> this is, this could come up, that you are used to taking care of yourself. This person is very traditional. If you're, if this is a male female situation and you're a female and you're used to being independent and making your own money and you've gotten to a certain point, um, maybe you're afraid of someone taking advantage of that, or maybe you think this person's going to come in and try and, um, be like, you know, traditional male female roles, which you are like, wait a minute, that's not what I thought I wanted, but you're going to be very charmed by this person, even if that's your situation. I think that this person may have, um, you know, a very strong viewpoint, point of view, and it's different and it's going to, it's going to catch you off guard, but let's see one more. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Ace of Swords. So this is, this is someone that's going to help you, um, really speak for yourself, really speak your truth. This is an opportunity, um, for a new beginning for you. This is someone that could potentially be a really great partner for you. This is, this is someone new. This is someone, um, you know, exciting. This is a new way of you viewing relationships. So I think you're going to give this person a chance. It's totally up to you though. Okay. You know, if you're non-conventional, they could be conventional. If you thought, I'm never going to get married, maybe they want to get married. And it's like, maybe you'll end up doing it. I mean, this is a positive reading. You never know. It's totally up to you. You have free will. This is just this date. Um, but it has potential. If nothing else, I feel like it's going to shift your mind and your thinking about relationship. Yeah, this person has a ton of energy. He, that Knight of Wands just comes flying in. Definitely fire energy coming in again. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, somebody who's high energy, somebody who's really romantic, has got a lot of energy. Um, the reflection. I feel like that is a message about your feeling that it's really giving you its creativity. You have the artist reversed in creativity. This person could um, really talk to you about stuff and for your own business or for things that you're working on that could be really helpful during this date. I feel like they give you a lot of energy. They bring you up. Um, they make you think and they give you some good ideas. You could be in a, in a kind of a downward stuck place with whatever it is you do for a living. And I feel like you guys could talk about it on this date and that could actually give you some good ideas about making more money. Okay. Interesting. They could open your heart up again. Ooh, so we have the man card looking from far away. This person could live at a distance from you. There could be travel involved to see one another. We have the moon. The moon is about in the Lenormand deck about wishes coming true. And you have the nine of um, cups reversed and then the ten of cups. I feel like this person could possibly really get you back believing in love. Wow. And, you know, they have so much energy. They have so much belief and passion. It kind of lifts you along. Wow. House. There's potential stability. There's potential for long term here. There's potential you could move in together. Wow, wow, wow. Unexpected. Okay, there's fourth house of home and family. Definitely a possibility of moving in together. We have the Leo energy confirming the sun card twice. All right, yes. We have the Knight of Wands, the Sun card, and two Leos. Okay, okay. We have the Pisces energy, Scorpio, some water energy coming through. We did have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups, Scorpio and Pisces, and Pluto. Pluto's about power and control and transformation. This could be a date that really shifts things for you. Okay, number three. This is intense. I'm going to get you some letters. This could be initials, your name, their name, a place, something having to do with this date. 
F N N A A O N J. I don't know why Jimmy Fallon just popped into my head, but he did. So, okay. Maybe this person's funny. Um, okay, we have T L O O N O R I H. Lots of letters for you. I and O. You're probably going to have to pause the video, see what words you can spell here. If any names pop out, that's interesting too. Um, just take a moment and see what comes through. Okay, that's your reading for today. Very exciting date, that Leo energy, wow. Um, don't forget to write all your comments below and don't forget to like this video. That's so helpful and I really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel, it's free and it really helps me. Don't forget once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post a new reading. And if you have any questions at all, want more content, want a private reading, want to buy my decks, any, any, anything, go to my website, lovegoddesstarot.com. I'm sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number four, here's your reading. You were drawn to the dice message about your next date. We're starting with the seven of wands. Okay. So your next date um, the Seven of Wands is about protective energy, protecting something, protecting your ground, holding your ground. Um, this can indicate that maybe you are defensive on the date or the person is defensive on the date. There's something that you're holding back maybe or something you're protecting. Um, this could also be that you just feel like you... Um, you kind of keep your distance from this person initially. Um, this can indicate fire sign energy, Leo Sag Aries. Um, it could be that maybe you feel like, you know, sometimes when you're like on a date or if you're in a situation and you feel like other people are kind of over eavesdropping or you're like, you're a little bit uncomfortable because you feel like people know you're on a date. Like you go to meet somebody cause you've met, you know, on, you know, hinge or Tinder and you go to the bar and you're waiting for them. And then the person comes up and then there's a lot of people around you that you kind of don't feel comfortable about. So I feel like it could be the situation or the environment might not be your favorite space. Um, but let's see what comes up. Okay. What do we have about this date for number four? Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles. The Five of Swords, wow. And the Four of Wands, wow. This is an interesting one. Okay. What I feel like here is that um, there's, I think that this Seven of Wands energy is really about you having to kind of focus on dating or like you have a lot to juggle. You have a lot to, to worry about in terms of like work and life. And it's like you're, you're getting things in balance. You're trying to get your life in balance. And this date, you feel a little rushed. You feel a little hurried and you just want to sit down and relax. But it's like there's some energy of just discomfort initially. Um, but I see as the date moves on that you get more comfortable. You feel like you're in your own space. You get time to yourself. It's almost like I feel like you could almost be coming straight from work or this person could work with you. There could be a work connection that you're being a little guarded about. But once you get to know this person, you kind of put your swords down, you rest, you relax. Um, I do actually see you going to maybe another location, to a party, to something fun. Um, 
where you have a better time, okay? I also see the potential here for a long-term situation that starts out a little rocky. It's like you learn to drop your defenses. You um, maybe even have um, two people that you're dating at the same time. So you're still keeping your defenses up or you're still keeping your options open when you date this person, okay? But after you spend time with them, you kind of like them, you feel comfortable with them. And like I said, you could even on that date go to another place or to a party or to some celebration after. Um, if it is a work person, it could be that you even invite them to a wedding or to a party that you're going to or to something that's really um, important to you. OK, um, but I do feel like there could be for some of you two people that you're dating at the same time. So that's why you have to you keep your boundaries up a little bit until you get to know them. But I do see the potential here of it being, you know, a really positive connection for you, maybe even something that ends in engagement or marriage even. OK, but let's see what we get about that two of pentacles. What is the two of pentacles? Okay, the strength card reversed. That's Leo energy as well. Um, there could be a Leo involved here for you, another person that you're dating, but also it could feel like you're a little off balance and you need to get yourself in balance. You don't, there could be also a financial imbalance. You could be uncomfortable because you're like, is this person going to pay the check? Are we at a place that's really expensive? Um, it could just be that um, you feel like maybe they could even be someone um, above you at work. So you have you feel this imbalance of power, but you want things to get, be in balance, okay? There's something about this connection that's making you this date that's making you feel like you want to keep your guard up. You need some time to get yourself together. It could be that you're exhausted. It could be that you're physically just tired. Let's see what the Five of Swords message is about. Nine of Cups. I'm going to pull one more before I say what I'm thinking. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Wow. Okay. Um, this is kind of interesting. So what I feel like is that this person could actually be someone that you really, really actually like. You keep your defenses up with them because you're afraid that they are going to um, be, they're dating a lot of people. Okay. You could, you could also feel like they are going to be moving or they, there's something about them that doesn't feel, um, that you're worried about, but it's actually because you really, really like them. Okay. That's one scenario. Um, the other scenario is that you, um, you're dating, you're online and you're keeping your options open which is what I said, but there's a lot of fire here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, foreign person and places, travel together possible. This person could be someone that travels a lot. This person could be someone that's super successful and that can be intimidating. Okay, judgment reversed. Yeah, you could still be holding on to an old story. You could be holding on to an old story or an old connection, um, and you don't have closure yet on it, which is why you're juggling, which is why you're keeping up a, um, a defense here. Yeah. Three of Wands reversed. So much wand energy. So much fire, so much inspiration, creativity, travel. Um, this is delayed. This is, this is, you know, a delay in your plans, a delay in moving forward. Um, there's some sort of delay here. I'm going to pull one more with this person. Um, okay. A lot of movement and change. So, um, it could be that you meet this person when you're thinking about making a big shift and change that you have in the back of your mind. Okay. So you're, you're kind of keeping that a secret. You're keeping that to yourself. Maybe it has to do with work. Maybe it has to do with, um, moving. Okay. 
maybe you've, you, some of you were engaged and you broke off the engagement and you think there's a possibility you could get back together and you don't have closure yet. But this connection is going to be about you really taking charge and making a choice. The person's going to be very interested in you. It's really about whether you want to leave whatever that situation that's out of balance behind. Okay. But um, I see that this person has a lot of the qualities and things that you're interested in and you're going to have a good time. There's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of potential for you guys sharing the same interest and really talking about them. Okay. Let's see. Ideation. There's that inspiration, creativity. Um, somebody who could really open up your world. Magic. This person has some sort of magical feeling to you that could scare you a little bit. You could feel like it's too much. There's the caution. I said scare you a little bit. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. Strength. Ooh. You feel a little overwhelmed and overpowered by them initially. Okay, we have the strength card twice. Um, they are a very powerful person. They have a powerful personality. It could be a little bit much for you. Okay, so it's really going to be up to you whether you want to move forward with this connection. But I do think that there is something that when you're on this date that makes you think big things. It makes you like that nine of cups. Like, wow, this could really be something. That scares you a little bit. But I think they're very, very interested in you. Definitely fire sign energy. Leo Sag Aries coming through. Strong Leo. Okay. Ooh, ring. We have the four of wands in the ring. Listen, this could be one of those dates where the person says, I think I'm going to marry you. And that freaks you out. Okay, rightly so. Okay, we have the lady, and the lady is looking towards the past. So if you're the woman in this connection, it could be that you're still thinking about a past engagement, a past person, a past love. Wow, the clover. This is a very positive connection. Very good luck. It's very fortunate. I did feel a lot of abundance and success for this person. And that could be part of why you feel overwhelmed or you feel like there's an in, imbalance in what you make and what the person makes or what how far they are ahead in their career or their life. And something about that is unsettling. But I do think that you you open up and you you say, you know, you give this a sh chance because there's something magical here. I think you're going to really feel it. And um, it's going to just be a matter of you, you know, saying, you know what, I've got this, I can do this. You're going to make the call, though, it's going to be completely up to you. Okay. Let's see what we have for this date. Number four, Aries, Cancer, Second house, money, values, the two of pentacles. Yeah, there's an imbalance with finances or money. There's definitely something about that. There's the Leo. There's the Leo energy. We have strength, strength, Leo. Yes. And we have Sag, the travel, all that, um, you know, inspiration, creativity, uh, fire sign energy. And we have Neptune. Um which is about dreams and hopes and wishes, but it can also be about um, being confused, right? So we have Aries, Sag, and Leo. We have all three fire signs represented here. So like I said, huge fire sign energy. Okay, now I'm going to get you some letters. This could be something connected to this date, a name, a place, your initials, their initials, F-E-I-Y-T-L-E. Oh my God. I said Jimmy Fallon in the last one, and now I'm seeing Tina Fey. Why am I thinking about people from Saturday Night Live? Um, please tell me who that's for if that was for you <laughs> i just really need to know um funny people comedians somebody who jokes around a lot could be part of it 
Okay, there are your letters. Take a moment, see, you know, you might want to pause the video, see if anything pops out for you. Um, I can't wait to hear all your comments. That's your reading today about your next date. Please write them below. Don't forget to like this video. I really appreciate it if you do that. It helps so much. Also, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Just click the button. Once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll get notified every time I post a new reading. And I'm so excited you are here today. If you have any questions about buying my decks, getting a reading, joining and getting bonus content every month, go ahead to my website, lovegoddesstarot.com, and you'll get all the information there. I am sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.